This video is for the S-Band Radio Frequency Group Retrieve EVA. EV1 with red stripes egresses and prepositions two crew lock bags on the airlock toolbox. EV1 receives a large cable bag and puts it on his body restraint tether. EV2 with white stripes egresses with a crew lock bag, closes the thermal cover. EV1 translates up the forward face of the truss and goes starboard. He stops to configure both his and EV2 safety tethers. EV2 goes to the external stowage platform 2 and stows his toolbox for use later. EV1 stows the large cable bag at the S6 integrated electronics assembly. EV2 goes to the port crew equipment translation aid cart and retrieves an articulating portable foot restraint. Then he follows a similar path out to the S6 location to install that foot restraint also to be used on a future EVA. After EV1 stows the large cable bag, he goes to the starboard crew equipment translation aid and picks up a second foot restraint. EV1 returns to the S6 segment and stows the foot restraint at the outboard end of the integrated electronics assembly. Next, both EV1 and EV2 route cables on either side of the ISS power augmentation modification kit installed on the one Bravo Beta Gimbal assembly. They also adjust beta cloth on the modification kit to preclude thermal stresses on the metal structure. Once EV1 and EV2 finish at the 1 Bravo worksite, they will translate port to the 1 Alpha beta gimbal assembly to adjust the beta cloth on that modification kit. That concludes the activities and preparation for a future ISS rollout solar array installation EVAs later this year. EP2 returns to the external stowage platform 2 to the radio frequency group retrieve worksite. The hardware has a multi thermal installation tent over it. So EV2 will cut the clamshell portion off so it will remain installed on the high gain antenna. Next EV2 will release several fasteners so the tent can be pulled back out of the way. He disconnects two NASA zero gravity lever electrical connectors and installs protective caps. Meanwhile, EV1 retrieves another portable foot restraint from the port crew equipment translation aid cart. He brings it to the external stowage platform too and installs it onto the robotic arm. The robotic arm takes EV1 to the bolt side of the radio frequency group and stanchion. Using the pistol grip tool, he releases nine bolts and then pulls the radio frequency group hardware off of the stanchion.
EV2 returns to the airlock, opening the thermal cover while EV1 is flown over to meet him. The crew work together to stow the radio frequency group hardware safely in the crew lock. Then EV1 and EV2 go back to the external stowage platform to reinstall the multi-thermal insulation blanket over the stanchion. EV2 takes his crew lock bag back to the airlock. EV1 removes the foot restraint from the robotic arm and returns it to its original location. EV1 goes starboard to pick up his and EV2 safety tethers, while EV2 stows the three crew lock bags back inside the airlock. EV1 returns to the airlock where both crew members ingress and conclude the EVA.